Hello and welcome back. We're just about to meet with the big boss, apparently. I don't know. I don't know what the last part of this journey is gonna be. But everything was leading up to this. And this is the last... Uh, yeah. Last Stay sector away. we're gonna enter. It's called the Ghost Bazaar. Oh, Lyric doesn't have a map of this place. Why the hell not? You had the map of every other place. <coughs> this is the Ghost Bazaar we've been hearing so much about, but it's quiet, too quiet. Am I to believe this is the center of commerce in Eisner? Uh, it doesn't look like it. I personally would have uh, moved those uh, corpses if this place was busy. But what? Welcome to the North Venture Company. It's Quarters. Uh, this building is not open to the public. Please visit the information desk to talk to a guide. Manduk, Chief Executive Officer. I'll keep that in mind. I could say the reception here is very cold. There's an expensive tea set on the table with packets of open rat poison nearby. We got a Sylvana tea. What is that? Oh, this is the the structure of this facility. Okay. This is the first time I ever see a... something like this. It just kinda clearly shows that this is very fine, the big boss. I don't know what that is. Or maybe this is where we can go in there as well. Oh, we can go up there. Um... I can't read the descriptions, they're too small. What? Who would dare to attack me here? The cook, security guard, mad merchant, and the board. Suppose I'm gonna take out the security guard here. Mad merchant is eating. Wait. That made him gain some damage boost. Uh oh. Now we have a choice. Either we hit the security guard. Because we have a lot of extra abilities. Either we hit the security guard and prevent the damage it seems pretty damn good i think i'm gonna go for that they're just way too tempting like that just seems so damn good i don't really have a way to kill the bard though if i did that would be good so i think we might just re refocus on the cook Because even if Lyric comes, oh, actually, she is cursed in some way. We just need to kill the cook here. I could have went for the damage everybody, but... Yeah, we can't use the special ability too much here. And damage the cook. One and three. But this is free damage. Not great. We don't have a choice. We have to hit the cook. We are just gonna hit the board. Yeah, we're hitting the cook. We're not doing a poison on everybody move. The cook is gonna go down. We can't really do much with the mad merchant. It's very tanky. I don't like seeing that. What happened? He's dying from the poison. Oh my god, he's going for the heal. Uh, well, my plan is kind of out the window, but the goal was to kill the uh, the cook. 
gonna take poison damage. If I go for a hit on everybody, then the cook is actually gonna die, but only from the next poison. So that's actually not that good because uh, he still needs to hit it. I should just refocus on the bard in the back. Not poison, sadly. Can deal two damage to the bard. Perfect. Just leave the mad merchant for last. Okay. The cook should die. Now as the mad merchant heals it. But seem to prefer healing himself. Alright. One guy left. Take him out. Although he might whoa whoa whoa. He's boosted by 4 for 99 turns, and he's also bleeding by 4 for 99 turns. Interesting. I was not the one who caused that. I would love to take uh, credit for that, but unfortunately I cannot. Life bleed! Right to the bleed. Yeah, they trigger separately. Stuff? We didn't get stuff? Oh. She does she still doesn't have a map of this place. Not like I'm spamming the map or anything. <laughs> She's just uh reminding us that uh still she still doesn't have it. Just just a friendly reminder. Well, the map didn't exactly go as like I imagined it. Yes, I found the page in the codex, but... Are we finding... Actual recipes here? I don't think so. I think the recipes are probably locked to the... The level you are on. Oh, avoided! Yeah, you definitely need someone who avoids the traps. No, 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 no. I don't want that. Ooh, I don't... <gasps> oh my god, he got lucky. Because I just imagined that this is a 5 difficulty one. And if it's like a... F at least less than a 4, then we automatically uh, succeed. But we still got lucky here. A, s a stage for musicians and singers. Looks like something good is uh, still here. Box syrup. Okay. Wait, what? Huh. Carbon suit set? Okay. Oh my god, we are actually... No! We have... No! I have too much stuff. And we have like crazy penalties now. I need to discard stuff. I I imagine that works. X. Discard one. Um not all though. One. Yes! Woo! Nothing's wrong now. Maybe I need to sell more aggressively. I, I wanted to bring home a little bit of... No, 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 I don't want that. A little bit of something, something. That carbon suit set that I picked up or... Oh, no. Seems like that was pretty heavy. Uh oh Wait, why are we boosted? I still wanna... I think I'm gonna bleed them all. Mm, not too happy about that. Just a boost. Oh. Prevent damage. I don't... 
I don't know. I, th I think we need to have him in the front. To be dodging the traps. But at the same time. Pretty damn risky. Postman seems just crazy with the... Wait, that's Avernus? Oh yeah, that's the Avernus. Oh, I see. I, I was I was mistaken. So some of them... So th these are all damage dealers. They don't deal vigor, vigor damage. Security guard comes super late. The postman comes super early, but doesn't deal as much damage. Killing the dancer would be the best. Let's do that on everybody. This should kill the security guard. And the maid. Dancer is still annoying. We can only deal two damage as far as I know. And that's not good for either of those. I don't want to use the special ability here. Second guy is gonna come pretty soon. I guess I'm just gonna hit the dancer. I don't like that. So now we can actually can kill the postman. Alright. No, that's not good. What if I put him in, in the second place? But they're both gonna die. Oh, you, you actually lost one spirit by defending? That doesn't seem like a great choice. I suppose using Vospar Defend would have been okay. I don't really see what it does. Like, do you just not get attacked? But I'm definitely concerned about Vospar. What if I replace positions? I'm just really hoping that Victor is not gonna cock it up for us, big time. Uh, I was going this way for for some reason, although this is really no no reason to come this way, other than trying to get Vosper killed. Oh my god! The last thing I should do. I'm kind of breaking my own rule. Of uh, of I should I shouldn't waste time. I should just go and try to actually make progress. Oh, we gotta find another way. Envy? Okay, uh, I get that. So, it, it's not this way. This leads back. This vent shaft might be our only way through. I guess it's time to get my hands dirty. Alright. Hopefully, the traps are gonna... Trap detection is gonna matter, even if uh, the knight leads the party. But it's also possible that uh, our shadow master would get hit anyway, because he's weak. Miss Andrews, uh, Mr. Andrews, no, Miss Andrews, I hope you are enjoying your vacation in Ice Snare. There is much in way of entertainment to while away the hours. I recommend you visit Hydra Humor to enjoy the beautiful performances of our drow dancers. If that doesn't catch your fancy, there's a more exclusive option under the club. Find a waiter named Chan and tell him I invited you, Bruce. What? Oh. We can't take it though. We're not taking any of that. So we gotta go to the basement, right? Uh, not exactly what I would have expected here. 
How do I get to the... Oh! We're removing the van, we go to the basement. This is where Loverboy wanted to meet up with Miss Andrews. There's a stock of lists... There's a stock list of products on the wall here, mostly alcohol. Various orders from dwarven nobles and government officials are posted beside it. Okay. Bernard, did you see the latest announcement? The Bloody King is sanctioning a dwarven monopoly on brews and spirits. If this goes through, you're done for. How are you going to deal with this, Bernard? Well, I don't know. <gasps> yes! Bora Kang is gonna do it. I suspect there's no way to... Oh, actually we can have uh, some free healing. We, we actually have some extra terror. Wait, no. Does the terror actually go up? Because... I don't... I, well, I don't know. It doesn't seem like this place actually keeps track of terror. Seems like this is just a, a free way to get some health. Yeah, we definitely need to use some healing. I don't have a lot of heals. So we're using this from Vospar, who is missing. He's gonna drink too. Okay, that's it. And I suppose if we do that, we might as well go first. Just, just to make sure, this is not the best time to, to test if uh, going second is actually a good idea. Alright, Vosper, you're gonna go first. Make sure that we see all the traps. An official government memo rests on the table. A notification bearing a King Agram's seal indicates that Dwarven... Dwarves will now have the sole right to own liquor licensed in, in Eisner. It is a, accompanied by another note. <clears throat> My wonderful staff, you have been an inspiration in these trying times. The king's latest proclamation has effectively ended our business. It is with a heavy heart that I must announce that we are closing the warehouse after over 30 long years of serving the people of Eisner. Thank you for your service, Bernard. Bernard... The Crown's monopoly has a lot of people on the warpath. I found another way, but we need to be discreet. Friend has revealed to me the location of several hidden tunnels throughout Eisner. We can sell our stock on the black market there. What do you say? Hmm. You can just have uh, a drink and not call it alcohol and done. Oh. Oh, we have a rest and a merchant? By old, by the old mother. How did you get here before us? I heard. I have roamed these streets for many a dark night. It is only natural I should know my way around them better than you. Tell me, have you found your woman yet? Um. I would love to say that I have, but no. I'm still looking for my special lady. All signs indicate she came this way. It's only a matter of time. Haven't you noticed? The bazaar is dead. Something strange is afoot here. I had to come back because the way ahead is swarming with mad braids. That doesn't sound good at all. It can only mean that the green flame's influence here has grown. With, the, with this district, they have now consolidated their control of Eisner. The King of Shades has a come accomplished this by enthralling powerful shades with his strange magic. The merchant was his latest victim. If things stand the way as they are, it will be no time before every wraith in this district goes mad. I bet Isabel had some hand in blocking our path. We have no choice but to move forward. I have to reach her before she makes contact with the green flame. If you're going in, you need this key. I locked the door behind me. I can't actually stop braids, but some of the mad ones still haven't realized they lost their corporeal forms. So you're not gonna trade with me, you're just part of the quest. Okay. 
Can I get him? Yeah, we're getting him. I kind of expected a trade. It seems like we are preparing for a big fight and we still don't have a map of this place. Oh, boss fight. No sign of Isabel here, but this doesn't look good. Oh, she's quite ugly. You must be the merchant of... <clears throat> you must be the merchant of Eisner. I've come to have a word. Really? <clears throat> Who are you and why do you disturb me? My name is Evelia Lyric and I've come here in peace. I'm seeking a woman named Isabel. Stupid child! How dare you invade my chamber! I'll swallow your soul for displaying such impudence! <gasps> She's not nice! Uh oh, what is going on here? Does she even has health? Okay, we can't poison- well, we can poison her- oh my god, mad merchant. So I can poison Marnduk. Did we do that? It's like a good deal. So the mad merchant starts with four, four awareness and zero attack, but it gets kind of out of control. The security guard is concerning. Our caster ghost and the security guard should be something we kill because these gonna generate value. I don't know if I should. Shouldn't I just kill Manduk instead of this, the bad merchant? I think we might. I don't know if we can make a mad rush for the. With the boss here. But I suppose we're gonna attempt it. Yeah, but th this mad merchant can get out of control. Mm, don't like the look of that. What was that? Oh, sleep! One turn is not gonna act. Okay, now we can make a, a taunt. They deal less damage. Or hit Manduk. Bad Merchant is probably gonna just eat. So there's not much point. Let's say we target those. I wanna kill the Archester Ghost in the back. Let's do the... Oh, we don't have to big hit on everybody. Let's try to kill the Archester Ghost anyway. Now we have a choice between killing the Archester Ghost with 2 damage, or just going for a big hit on the first two guys. I think we're just gonna kill the Arcaster Ghost. And we're just gonna hope that uh, this me doesn't mean that uh, this Manduk is gonna generate more uh, followers. Oh, going for a hit right away. Fine. So, he doesn't always choose the heal. And I think that's pretty reasonable here. Mandu can heal itself, but killing it will not be easy. I think it would be probably the best just to kill a bunch of minions here. Although this mad merchant has as much health as Manduk. So that's why I'm kind of considering actually killing Manduk instead. So let's just punch Manduk. Killing the security guard would be the best, but it seems like that's not an option. can also go for the poison on everybody move. Or just... Or just try to poison Manduk. And also deal 2 damage with that. I think poison on everybody is the most sensible long term. If this is gonna be a tough fight, this should give us the edge. Is this is this not even, well I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm just assuming that this is a boss fight of sorts. And the mad merchant gotta make a choice between uh healing 
and attacking. Uh oh. Oh. Security guard is damn annoying. It's worth four hits all the time. But we can't kill it easily. Not with the kind of team I have. Wow, we can actually go for another shout. Uh, do I want to do that? Maybe so. We deal free damage. And they deal less damage because of it. Maybe he will even encourage an attack. Try to kill Mandu. Uh, not great, but we still try to kill Manduk. Yeah, we go with the regular try to kill Manduk play. And this should do it. He should die next time he acts. Although the Mad Merchant is actually more dangerous than Manduk now. I don't even know what Manduk necessarily does. It doesn't seem that dangerous. But he's the big boss. And maybe if you kill it, then the fight is over. Yeah. Alright. So we just got some regular crap. Luxury items. Weight's 40. So we're gonna take everything. And we can always just discard some random trash. I know we are overloaded. That's why we're gonna ra discard random trash. Luxury items, we don't know how much that is worth. But we do know that we are carrying too much. Uh, I think we're gonna remove that, all of that. We got a lot of junk. Let's say we wanna remove that as well. I was kinda hoping to bring it home. So we gotta remove like 18 more. We can remove wood planks. Okay. And I need to remove four ropes. And that should do it. I don't know exactly how valuable these are, but these are common uh, items, so uh, I, I suppose not 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 too much. The merchant collapsed to the ground, shrieking in defeat. Her body convulsed, emitting a light that pulsed radically. The shade clutched her head in agony. No! No, this cannot be! Oh, nice. We got a new screen. At that moment, the outer brace began to emit a strange glow. What is happening? My vambrace seemed to be reacting to the shade's presence. I'm getting stronger. Fortunately, Geralt had just entered the chambers. Watch out! I had let my guard down, and that, and at that moment, the shade had lunged at me. No way. No cheap shot. You will rot for with the rest of us, girl! I swung around in surprise, trying to shield myself from her vicious attack. Get back! The other brace released the powerful energy that enveloped the shade. It changed her, washing away the strange magic that gripped her mind. Ooh. Where am I? Who are you? My name is Evelia Lyric. Everything is going to be okay. We are here to help you. Ow. She, she got pretty cool with this. Still would be a little, little careful. I, I, I'm sorry. My mind was so clouded. I could not control my own actions. Please, how can I ever repay you? She even remembers. Well, well, you know, you know the old saying? How about you just give me all your money? Maybe this is the kind of the saying that, it, uh, you know, in the mugger community. But still, you know, kind of applies to this situation as well. Not really applying any uh, <clears throat> uh, ties with the mugger community here. Uh, I was definitely just a good, honest adventure. Lyric the good girl. 
I can imagine what you've been through, but perhaps you can begin by telling us what happened here. Uh, <clears throat> I'll tell you everything I remember. Alright, what do you remember? Do you remember nothing? This might be a long cutscene. I will commit. Evelia, I owe you a deep debt of gratitude. If you had not come here, I would still be enthralled by the green flame's magic. Does Isabel wield the same power? How did how did the green flame do this to you? They broke through our defenses weeks ago and brought with them powerful magic. The, their priests cast arconic spells that dulled my senses and enslaved my mind to the King of Shades. Mind control? The people of Delark have no idea what happened here. They've been unable to reach the Ghost Bazaar since the frost, frost fences went up. I could see and hear everything, but could not control my actions. I was completely possessed to carry out his dark intentions. <clears throat> I know you've been through a lot, but we really need your help. We have we followed the woman named Isabel Salazar here. Have you seen her? I would recognize that villainess anywhere. She's the woman responsible for the frost fell. Alas, I'm not... I'm, I'm afraid I do not have much information to offer you. She was here, but only briefly. She asked for the green flame, and I directed her toward the residential district. There's no doubt she's going to dare to tell them what she knows. I, she could even reveal Delark's location. She's made haste. I doubt you will catch up with her now. Forgive me, but I wish to ask you a personal question. You mentioned your family name, Lyric. Is your father Dr. Nicolau Lyric? Nope, no connection. Yes, all the same. How did you know? <clears throat> you may be surprised to learn this, but your father and I were fast friends in life. He often visited Eisner while conducted his research expeditions. Wow! He never told me that he's a furry. I'm sorry to tell you this, but my father has passed away. That is truly a shame. I hope he went in peace. I knew him for many years. I was approached before the incident by two strangers. They told me a young girl with your eyes would come and, l and left me with this. They said it was from your father. Yes, no mistaking it. He must have intended you to have this, especially if it was important enough for him to have those, the strangers deliver it to me. This storm page? I can't read the script on it, but why would he send this to me? All the way out here? Wait, this is part of the book he left me. Hmm, he was a man of deep thoughts. I'm sure there is more to it than meets the eye. If you're half as resourceful as he was, I'm sure you will decipher the mysteries within. Thank you. Actually, there's one more thing. Die now, scum! I was just pretending. Please, please go on. Thanks. I believe I knew a former acquaintance of yours as, as well. His name is Maru Han. Yes, I know of that old scoundrel. How is he doing? Still alive? No, he's dead too. Very much so. He asked me to retrieve the ox safe from you. He said it was important to the future of the North Venture Company. Uh, glad to see he's worried about me. Uh, he's right. Yes, this seal rightfully belongs in the hands of my living contemporary. Temporary. Please, make sure the Oxy finds its way to him. You can count on me. When you're ready to leave, speak with me and I'll ask my braids to escort you out. Really? There's like stuff here? Oh. You got some stuff? I'm happy to see you still draw breath, warm blood. I've survived worse situations. Worst situations? Ah. Oh. Alright. You're a tough woman. Let's cut straight to the business. Do you have the oxy? Well, I might do. Let's ask for time. If you give me stuff now, 
Let's just ask for time. Please give me a moment. I'm sticking. <laughs> I don't have the oxy. Nope, never heard of it. I found page to the codex. Wait, is this like a treasure chamber here? Does this game encourage me to... Wait, I came from this way, didn't I? Go up. <laughs> I really hope I don't didn't lose my way. Huh. Oh, she's. Oh, she's in the same place. So I can make the deal now, but she mi he might give me stuff that I can't even carry. So I think we're just gonna side with the uh, the ones in town. I don't know. Sounds about good. Let, let's go. I'm ready. I think the oxide is needed in town as well. We may, we may want to make friends with those. Although, the ghost has time. I just make trade with the ghost. I don't know. Do we want to... No, no, no. Town should be better. Come on. We can always interact with the town, right? I'm ready. We're making a trade with the town. Thank you. G please give Maruhan my regards. You can just come to town, you know, just do the good old, I'm spooky ghost thing. And people are just gonna love it, I'm telling you. You might, you know, if there's a way you can get killed, you're probably gonna get killed. But, you know, they're gonna love it. Oh, oh come on. Lyric, what news have you, uh, do you bring from the north? <clears throat> I'm afraid it isn't good. Isabel was too far ahead of us. And we should all prepare for the worst. First again. <clears throat> I followed her trail to the Ghost Bazaar and discovered that the Green Flame had already been there. They enthralled Manduk and drove the other Wraiths mad. Then it's worse than I feared. The Shade King's powers of mind control cannot be undone. Once he controls a local Shade, it will be not impossible to regain control of the district. Well, I just did it. There's a silver lining. I learned that Isabel just missed the green flame. We may still have time to catch her. Where did you get this information? The merchant, Manduk. You just said she was under Shade King's spell. What am I missing? The other brace has the power to dispel his magic. After I restored her mind, she told me that Isabel was heading toward the residential district. Unfortunately, that's all we know for now. My best guess is that she'll try to rendezvous with the green flame there. If what you say is true, Derek, you plan. We have been on the defense this past year, but with your new power, we can finally turn the tide against the King of Shades. I mean, you do the whole thing, we're just gonna be still sitting here. Let us begin with the resi residential district. I want you to lead a small party there. With any luck, we'll be able to stop Isabel before she does any real damage. Failing that, you're to dispel the Green Flame's control of the local shade, the Warden. With his help, we may be able to wrest control of the of another district from the Shade King's grasp. <gasps> it's too crazy! Well, it's so crazy it might just work. Before that, I believe you and I had an agreement. You're not the only one who knows my father. Mandu gave me this. Said it was from him, but I can't make heads or tails of it. <clears throat> Let me see that. Um, today is your day. Please speak with Baltazar, our president, master of tomes. Radovan can figure this out, it's him. He has the knack for that kind of thing. Uh, you'll find him in the Eldritch Library. He also, he's also assists you in getting to the next ward safely. Alright, alright, I'm going now. Oh, we're back at home. Successful mission. We're not dead. Those are big pluses. Anyway guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.